People of the State of Michigan v. Demario Levon to Smoot, case number 19S5333. Appearance, please. Thank you. People of the State of Michigan v. Jamel Marquise Filson, case number 19S5332. Appearance, please. Thank you. And for the people? Good afternoon again, Your Honor. Patrick Musk on behalf of the people, P51482, and seated to my left is Michelle Rollins, R-O-L-L-I-N-S, an intern with our office. Thank you very much. Thank you. Good afternoon to everyone. Mr. Marquise? Mr. Marquise? Here. And is it Ms. Smoot? Ms. Smoot. And gentlemen, you are before the court for purposes of arraignment on felony charges. Specifically, it is alleged as follows. Honor about 9-6-2019, count one, homicide, felony, murder. It is alleged that while in the perpetration or attempted perpetration of a larceny that you did murder one Saja Khalid Al-Janabi. This is a felony charge with a maximum penalty of life in prison. Do you understand that charge, Mr. Dismuke? Yes. Mr. Filson? Yes. Count two, and this is for Mr. Dismuke. Assault with intent to commit the crime of murder. It is alleged that you did make an assault upon Tariq Talib with the intent to commit the crime of murder. A felony with a maximum penalty of life or any number of years. Mr. Dismuke, do you understand count two? Yes. Count three, and this is for both of you. Robbery armed. It is alleged that in the course of committing a larceny of money and or a purse that you did use force or violence against a person present, Saja Khalid Al-Janabi. And in the course of that conduct that you did possess a handgun, a dangerous weapon, the maximum penalty, life or any term of years. Do you understand the nature of that charge, Mr. Dismuke? Yes. Mr. Filson? Yes. Count four, again, applies to both of you. Robbery armed. It is alleged that in the course of committing a larceny of money and or a purse that you did use force or violence against a person present, Nahida Al-Salib. And in the course of that conduct that you did possess a handgun, being a dangerous weapon, the maximum penalty, life or any term of years. Do you understand the nature of that charge, Mr. Dismuke? Yes. Mr. Filson? Yes. Count five, felony firearm. This is with regard to Mr. Dismuke. It is alleged that you did carry or have in your possession a firearm, that being a handgun, at the time that you committed or attempted to commit a felony, that being felony murder. This charge carries a mandatory two years of imprisonment consecutively with and preceding any term of imprisonment imposed for the felony or attempted felony. Do you understand the nature of count five, Mr. Dismuke? Count six, again for Mr. Dismuke, felony firearm. It is alleged that you did carry or have in your possession a firearm, that being a handgun at the time that you committed or attempted to commit a felony, that being assault with intent to commit murder. Again, a felony with a mandatory prison sentence of two years consecutively with and preceding any term of imprisonment for the felony or attempted felony. Do you understand count six? Count seven, again for Mr. Dismuke. It is a felony firearm. It is alleged that you did carry or have in your possession a firearm, that being a handgun, at the time that you committed or attempted to commit a felony, that being armed robbery. Again, a felony with a mandatory prison term of two years consecutive with and preceding any term of imprisonment imposed for the felony or attempted felony. Do you understand count seven? Because we have felony charges, the court cannot accept a plea. As to any of these charges from either of you, the court will instead enter a plea of stand mute or remain silent, having the same effect as a not guilty plea without waiving any of your rights or any defects that may have occurred during the process leading up until this point in time. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say verbally or in writing can and will be used against you. You have the right to the assistance of an attorney. If you cannot afford your own attorney at any subsequent stage of the proceedings, the court will provide one to you at public expense. You have the right to have your attorney present with you at all times during any questioning to which you do agree, but you do not have to agree to answer anybody's questions regarding criminal charges that are being made against you. Do you understand these rights, Mr. Dismuke? Mr. Filson? Yes. You have the right to a preliminary examination hearing. The purpose of that hearing is to require that the prosecutor establish two things. Number one, probable cause or a reasonable belief that these crimes actually took place. 
Number two, probable cause or a reasonable belief that you are the one who committed the crimes that you are charged with. If they fail to do so, for each count upon which they fail, the felony will be dismissed at the district court. If they are successful, you would be bound over to the Wayne County Circuit Court as your trial court for further proceedings. You have a right to have that exam commenced within a period of 21 days from today's date. Do you believe you understand your right to and the purpose of that hearing, Mr. Dismuke? Yes. Mr. Filson, yes. basically it's to make sure there's enough evidence to even have a trial. You have a right to have a pre-exam conference. We'll set that for the next available date, which is next Friday, September 20th, 9 a.m., right back here in this courtroom. You also have the right to have the court set bond in accordance with the statute and court rules. How old are you, Mr. Dismuke? Yes. How long have you been living there? Yes. You have family there? Yes. Who's there? <coughs> Mr. Filson, how old are you? Seven. You still, and that's in Highland Park, sir? Yes. Have you lived there weeks, months, or years? No. Who do you stay with? Do you have any other cases going on, Mr. Filson? No. Are you on probation or parole anywhere? No. Mr. Dismuke, any other cases going on anywhere? No. Are you on probation or parole? All right, um, bond to the people. Thank you, Your Honor. I would note that uh, Mr. Filson uh, has been charged in another incident related to this event uh, with fleeing and looting, receiving and concealing motor vehicle out of uh, in Detroit. Uh, he has pending investigations regarding admissions that he made in this case right. for carjacking as, and non-fatal shooting right. charges. Uh, and of course, the allegations include felony murder, which allows the court to remand Mr. Filson, and that's what I'd be request, requesting from Mr. Filson. Mr. Dismuke has had um, unsuccessful attempts at probation in the juvenile system. Uh, he was on a tether at the time, correct? Yes, he was, Judge. He was on a GPS tether well, at the time that this offense is alleged to com be committed. Right. And based on his waiver, you're allowed to remand him to the juvenile detention center as well. Thank We'd you. ask for remands on both individuals, sir. All right. On behalf of Mr. Dismuke, anything with regard to Bob? Uh, yes, Your Honor. Uh, my client is 14 years old. Um, he has had a little bit of trouble with the law in the past. I'd like the court to keep in mind he is innocent until proven guilty of all charges as well as any investigations the prosecution may be pursuing. Uh, he does have a constitutional right to a uh, reasonable bond. I ask that the court consider one. Thank you. For Mr. Filson. Uh, similar to your honor, Mr. Filson, while uh, I mean, I'm unaware of what was statements were made during this investigation or what other pending charges, I know he's what he's here for right now. Um, again, the Constitution affording the right to a reasonable bond, and I ask the court to uh, consider one. Thank you. It also allows the court to deny bond in cases involving murder. It's a remand for both. You have a court date for next Friday. The court is also in receipt of a motion to file a warrant request under seal. Is that correct? Yes, sir. Right, every, did the um, council have a chance to see that? Judge, uh, before the proceeding started, there was one attorney that I thought would, would be representing both defendants at arraignment, or at least for this hearing. So I mentioned it to one council. I have not mentioned it to second council. Right. Um, well, I don't let's know. go beyond mentioning things. Let's actually take a look at it. Sure. And you have no objection to them reviewing the I have copies warrant them, request, sir. do you? No, Judge. I have copies for council of the motion, if you'd like. All right. It, well, while that's happening and while they're reviewing the warrant request, uh, I would ask the people to also be prepared to articulate what information is contained in the request that would support the motion. And the, the motion uh, simply refers to um, identification of individuals who have not yet been charged. No, Judge. Well, it does. And, it, 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 and an allegation that there might be gang activity involved, and that was the rationale for seeking to have it sealed, correct? There's multiple rationales, Your Honor. That is one of them, yes. Well, it's whatever's in the motion is what the rationale is. 
Yes. In the motion it states that the age of the suspects and the third suspect who has, uh, should be arraigned at the, in the juvenile system But is today. in custody. He is. Yes, there's other individuals that are that evidence will be developed in this case that are not in custody that um, I think is relevant to supporting a motion to seal at this time simply because of the amount of witnesses that had to be listed in the investigator's report to explain the case to you for you to sign the complaint information. So it's very detailed because it was a very thorough and excellent investigation by the Dearborn Police Department, but there's a lot of named individuals in it. So as a result, because the allegations in this case... What does the number of individuals have to do with anything? There are... The fact an offense that could occur in a stadium in front of... 100,000 people, but why There's a it? threat of harassment and intimidation of witnesses when they're, and that's what the motion to seal takes, seeks to prevent, and that's why we refer to potential game activity, Judge. There's also the private, privacy issues related to the names uh, in regards to the um, warrant request of the 13 year old. So I have uh, prepared a redacted version of the investigator's report that I could provide to the court as well. But we're seeking to seal this for the record, at least until the preliminary examination, um, so it doesn't, for any, for lack of a better term, get released pursuant to any requests um, by anybody outside the parties in this case. I would give it to the defense counsel, of course, and part of their discovery. That's all I'm seeking to do right now. Have they seen the request yet? They have copies. Yeah. Not the motion, the request. I, I motion is oh I have a redacted version of the investigators report right but have, Judge, they, yes, have I, they seen I, the have you seen the full version no your honor okay well then you can't respond until you've seen it all right take a moment or whatever time you need review the investigators report we have the unredacted version here you can take a look at that okay Judge. I'll take a look at your redacted version to see what it is you're trying to exclude Your Honor, if I may, sure. we're uh, here purely for the arraignment I, purposes. They're going to be given. I know, given but there's a motion in front of the court that is requiring a ruling right now, not next week. That's why I wanted two counsel here, because your clients may have disparate interests. No, I understand that, Your Honor. Sir, would you please sit down? Thank you. Sorry. If we could go off the record, well, sorry. That's what I, I'm giving Please. you all the time you need. Thank you. Okay. All right. Thank you, Judge. All right. We'll go off the record. How many witnesses on the last exam? Two, Your Honor. Two? It'll be brief. What's brief? 30 minutes? Less. Let's do it. Or, yeah. Yeah. So there's lawyers. Right. 